On this episode of OBD for Everyone, we're going to be using these inexpensive Bluetooth scanners and a free app called Torque Lite to connect, add some gauges, and make it talk faster. <laughs> The first step is to connect our Bluetooth OBD scanner to the car's diagnostic port. Normally, they're on the driver's side, on the bottom of the dash. In our case here, I've got it plugged in. I'm now going to start the car, which will give us live data to view. I have not used this Bluetooth OBD scanner before, so we need to pair it. We go to settings and go to Bluetooth and turn on Bluetooth. And it's going to do a quick search and it found the device. I'm going to touch the device and now we are going to pair it just like any other Bluetooth device. The pin for mine is one, two, three, four. Yours may be different. We'll touch OK and we're now connected. Perfect. We're going to go back to home and now we can start the Torque Light app. We'll touch OK. On the top left, it's giving us some status information about what it's connecting to and which protocol it's using, and we're now connected to the ECU. By default, Torque looks for a Bluetooth connection to the OBD scanner. Looking at the top right of the Torque Lite app, we see four icons. The first one, which is now flashing, it looks like a satellite, is GPS. So basically, my Android tablet is not able to get a GPS lock, and that's fine. The next icon means that the app itself is running just fine. The icon after that, it actually kind of looks like a little OBD scanner, and that means that the app is connected to the OBD scanner. Then, of course, we have the picture of the vehicle, which means that the app is connected to the engine's ECU through our OBD scanner. If I rev the engine, we'll see the gauges change. Let's add some extra gauges, or displays, as Torque Lake calls them. Put your finger on the screen and hold. This menu will pop up. We'll say Add Display. We're going to add a dial and I'm going to pick timing advance. Make that medium, and there it is. Now, it's right in the middle. We want to move it off to the side. So again, uh, we take your finger, we push and hold on the gauge, and say move. We can drag that over here. We're going to add another gauge. This will be a graph, and this will be our intake manifold pressure, and pick medium, push and hold, and I'm going to say move, and we'll put that over here. So let's add one more. Add a display. That will be a display, and we'll do engine coolant right there. Say medium, and we'll touch that. Say move, and we'll put that right over here. By default, the units are in Fahrenheit. I want it to be in metric, so let's change that. We'll touch our gear. We'll go to settings. And right here is units. I will want kilometers and Celsius, meters, and bar. So we touch back and back again. And we'll go back here and now everything is metric. Now the other thing we can check that may allow us to make the communication faster to the ECU, which can be very useful when we have a lot of gauges set up. So let's see how we can do that. We'll touch the gear. We'll go to settings, and right here under OBD to adapter settings, we'll touch that, and faster communication. So right now it's already turned on, so that's good. We're getting the fastest possible communication that we can. If it's not turned on, now that we know everything is working, try turning it on. You'll have to quit the Torque app and restart it and see if your display updates quicker. In this case here, it's on, we're good to go. One other thing I like to point out, if for any reason, you're having difficulties connecting, if we go to the connection tab here, we can make sure that it's set for the proper connection type, whether it's Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Again, typically by default, Torque Lite and Torque Pro default to Bluetooth. So this is something that you can check to sort of see. Come back here and we'll go back and back. And we're back at our gauges. If we want to delete a gauge, we can just simply touch a gauge and say delete and it's gone. Or if we want to reset them back to normal, we can touch our gear, reset dials to default layout, and we're back to how it was at the very beginning. 